what are queries in Microsoft Access? In a Microsoft Access database, all of your data is stored in one or more tables. You can use a query to display that data whichever way you want. For example, here you can see my customer table, which has 12 records in it. These records are in no particular order. So one of the things you can use a query for is to sort the data by one or more fields, such as last name and first name. Also, you may not want to see all of these records. What if you only want to see customers from New York? You can specify criteria in your query to filter the results shown. Queries can be saved for later use, so you don't have to keep reapplying the same sorts and filters directly in your tables. For example, here I have a saved query that shows me just customers from New York. So if I double click on this, I can see just my customers from New York appear. Even someone without a lot of knowledge of access can easily run that query. You can use parameters in your queries to prompt the user for criteria input. For example, here's a query that I have called customers by state. If I double click on this one, I'm prompted to enter the state. I'll type in PA for Pennsylvania and hit OK. And there I can see my customers from Pennsylvania. Building a query is simple. Click on Create, then Query Design. Select which table or tables you want in your query. You can actually use queries to join together data from multiple tables. But for now, let's keep it simple. I'll click on my customer T, my customer table, and then click Add. You can see the table appears in the background. Then I'll click Close. Now you simply add the fields that you want in the query by double clicking on them. First name, last name, state, email address, and so on. You can add a sort using the sort row, for example, sort by last name ascending. And you can add a criteria in the criteria row, such as customers from New York. Now when I run this query by clicking on the Run button, I see only the customers from New York sorted by last name. I can press Control S or click on the Save button to save this query and then type in a name such as customers from New York by last name Q. I like to end all of my queries in the letter Q. Now at any time in the future to run that query again all I have to do is double click right there on the query name. I don't have to redo all of that work. Now those are real simple queries. More advanced types of queries called action queries can be used to actually modify the data in your tables. Action queries can add, edit, or delete records from your tables. You can even create whole new tables using something called a make table query. If you want to learn a lot more about building queries, check out my Access Beginner 1 class, which you can watch for free on my YouTube channel. Just click on the link shown to watch now. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and comment below. I post new videos all the time, so be sure to subscribe to my channel for updates. Be sure to visit my channel page. I've got tons of free access tips and tricks videos online, plus lessons for other subjects like Word, Excel, Visual Basic, Windows, and lots more. And finally, be sure to visit my website, accesslearningzone.com, for even more free videos, my message forums, and lots more. Thanks for watching.